Today's communication devices require a clean and stable frequency source, which is not hard to find at Fox, but what happens when a train or a large truck goes by the 5G base station? The resulting vibration is an acceleration event that can create a frequency shift in your otherwise stable source. To combat this, before resorting to bulky vibration isolators, you can minimize noise due to vibration by using the C3VR quartz crystal from Fox. Hello, so my name is Jim Northcutt. I'm the senior R&D engineer at Fox Electronics, and we're going to show you a uh, demonstration of our uh, vibration test setup uh, and uh, the performance of our uh, latest product, the C3 VR. So um, we have um, uh, some software that uh, we've prepared, uh, just a very short test. Uh, we're going to test the, uh, the crystal uh, in an oscillator um, at rest and uh, take its phase noise and then we are going to uh, run it at two different uh, uh, accelerations um, and we're going to show you the response that we get uh, in the um, frequency domain uh, using a phase noise analyzer. Just uh, quickly I'll show you that this is the uh, vibration uh, test platform that we have and uh, we've oriented the um, crystal for its uh, worst case direction which is the long direction of the crystal package. When the vibration interacts with the uh, uh, crystal's um, oscillation frequency it uh, acts like a mixer and up converts vibration frequency as sidebands so we should be able to see spurious uh, occur at the vibration frequency. Uh, this is a single sideband uh, phase noise measurement technique so you will only see the upper sideband but uh, our test frequency is going to be 313 Hertz so we should be able to see it at uh, the carrier which is 40 megahertz for this demonstration uh, plus 313 Hertz so without further ado I'm just going to hit this uh, go and uh, we'll we'll start by taking a, um, a uh, baseline measurement at rest uh, and I've zoomed in the uh, phase noise response uh, to just the uh, offset frequencies between uh, 100 hertz and 1 kilohertz. So the, um, the spur that develops will be uh, more um, obvious, more clear. So it's going to, um, it's averaging a little bit. So crystal oscillators in general have fairly low noise floors. Here it comes. So the next thing it does is it calibrates for the uh, uh, acceleration that's needed using the accelerometer as a measurement and then feeds back and when it's happy with the uh, that the value is within 10% uh, of the target it will release the test instrument to begin averaging for the uh, resulting spur. So the long tone is uh, now trying to take the uh, measurement. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, if life was perfect, uh, you could just take uh, one measurement and uh, uh, at one uh, acceleration, uh, and uh, you could calculate uh, gamma, which is the acceleration sensitivity vector. Uh, but uh, uh, in our experience, uh, it's better to take uh, multiple vibration frequencies and uh, uh, plot a line through the uh, peaks of all of those. Uh, spurs and then uh, if you do that you get uh, essentially a uh, envelope uh, the line will plot a uh, curve that's in parallel to the phase noise while it's at rest and uh, how well it uh, goes through uh, how well it converges to a uh, line fit uh, is a measure of the confidence that you can have in the um, measurement accuracy when the test we showed you in this video is done over multiple vibration frequencies and superimposed on the performance with no vibration, the phase noise of a conventional crystal ends up looking like the graph on the left, which shows increased noise. The C3VR under those same conditions gives you a phase noise plot like the one on the right, closer to the performance with no vibration. You can see from the charts that using the Fox Electronic C3VR in your system can perform better under vibration than that same system using a conventional crystal. So Fox Electronics is going to be offering this as a uh, 
uh, free service to um, eligible customers. There's a link that we will show you to, uh, to see how to get involved and uh, you can send us uh, your test board and the crystal that you might be currently using and we will um, um, vibrate the um, sub-assembly or whatever you send us and um, uh, show the results that way and show the results also with the C3BR so you can see your, for yourself uh, the improvement and how much. So uh, that uh, concludes this uh, demonstration and uh, we'll pick up uh, another topic at a uh, later date.